Ace Mobile Barbershop is a business established to provide hair cutting service for men and women of all ages, including children, adults, and seniors. The company named Ace Mobile Barbershop to reflect the specialized service we offer. What set us apart from other companies in the hair cutting industry is our commitment to provide services that are more flexible, efficient, and comfortable. This is achieved by our team going directly to locations agreed upon by our clients, whether it be at home, in the office, or any other location that suits their needs. Our company aims to address the challenge faced by individuals who may find it inconvenient to visit a traditional barbershop. This is especially beneficial for our students dealing with transportation issues. At present, our, our team have five dedicated members. Before the inception of Ace Mobile Barbershop, such services were only available at fixed locations like other traditional barbershops. The inspiration to establish this business emerged on March 16, 2020. Coinciding with the implementation of movement control orders in Malaysia due to the rapid spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. During this challenging period, where the movement of the population was severely restricted, numerous traditional barbershops were forced to close. Ace Mobile Barbershop implemented stringent health and safety protocols. Our, teams ensure, our team ensures through sanitization of equipment and strict adherence to social distancing guidelines during every visit. These commitments to safety not only allows the business to thrive in challenging times, but also establishes trust and loyalty among customers who prioritize health and hygiene. Ace Mobile Barbershop actively engage with the community through various social media platforms by sharing grooming tips, updates on the latest trend, and occasionally organizing virtual events. The brand has not only expanded its customer base, but has also become a lifestyle brand. Ace Mobile Barbershop values customer relationships and community engagement, aiming to be more than just a service provider, but an integral part of its customer lifestyle. Our vision is to be the barbershop of choice for exceptional healthcare and styling. Our creative and innovative barbers provide an unparalleled customer experience. We are the industry standard in barbering. We ambition a vibrant and inclusive community where our talented stylish have a patient for changing not only just hair, but life, making a lasting impact on the way our clients look and feel. Next, our mission is Ace Mobile Barbershop is going to be one of the best unisex salons in UUM. We help our clients to express their individual style with premium grooming and salon service with affordable price at your doorstep. Ace Mobile Barbershop hopes to create a comfortable and relaxing environment for all customers along with our best service. Our first objective is to provide high quality door-to-door -door service and low cost. Our customer-centric approach facilitates convenient and flexible time, which is door-to-door -door barbers can save time and money. Customers no need to go to the barbershop. We will come to you wherever it is. We also always aware and ready for every change that occurs so that the quality of our service can be improved from time to time. Our second objective is to increase customer satisfaction and brand awareness by applying various type of effective marketing techniques to achieve the maximum level of customer satisfaction. So that we set our target market which is individuals of all ages. Attracting the proper audience is a critical aspect in determining whether our service will thrive or not. We also promote and serve carry out by the company to the general public more aggressively. Our next objective is to deal more efficiently and professionally with customers, handling all matters according to the company's procedures through work ethics and cultivating good values between employees and customers. Also, we monitor reviews to identify areas of opportunity and improvement, then share it on our website and social media page so that we can gain customer insights and can consistently deal with any complaints. This is our organization chart. On top, we have owner, the one that owns Ace Mobile Barber Shop. Next, we have manager, who ensures that our organization objectives are achieved. Under manager, we have finance, who provide financial resources, provide financial planning. And next, we have head barber. Under head barber, we have barbers and their assistant. Our creative and innovative barber are the one that will provide an unparalleled customer experience to the customers. The one that will not only change your hair, but also change your life. There is three types of planning in an organization, which is strategic planning, tactical planning, and operational planning. The first one is strategic planning. Strategic planning is executed by the top manager in charge for setting goals, defining strategies, and outlining the actionable step that is essential for success in a competitive market. The second one is tactical planning. Tactical planning takes the center stage under the guidance of the media manager in charge for trans translating the broader strategy objective into specific action and detailed plans. The last one is operational planning. Operational planning is overseen by the first line manager. It constitutes a critical bridge between strategic intent and day-to-day -day execution, focusing on translating the broader strategic goals. Under strategic planning, our company uses SWOT analysis to analyze our company capability. Based on the analysis, our company's strength lies in flexibility of services, which is an exclusive mobile haircut provider. Then, our analysis is that we still focusing on haircuts, which is necessary for diversification. Next is our opportunities. Our opportunity is that we are operating within university setting with transportation constraint, which create a unique opportunity for our company. The last one is threat. Threat in our company is that we rely too much on technology which potentially can cause disruption in booking system and vehicle breakdown. Now, we move to goals. 
our strategic goal is that in revenue growth, we want to achieve a substantial of 20% increase in overall revenue streams over the next year, over the next three years. The second goal is that in quality improvement, we want to maintain a customer satisfaction rate of 95% or higher over the next three years. To achieve, to achieve the strategy, strategic goal, in the scope of revenue growth strategy, we want to focus on expanding revenue streams throughout diversification of service provided. In the, scope of, in the scope of quality improvement initiative, we want to invest in staff training, establish feedback mechanism, and continuously enhance our service quality. In the tactical planning, we put our focus on three main aspects. The first one is staff training and development. Our commitment to SLA begins with monthly training session. This serves as the foundation of for continuous education, ensuring our team stay ahead in the latest cycle trends. By investing in our staff, we not only keep them updated, but also enhance the quality of services we provided to our valued client. The second aspect is appointment, sy appointment system upgrade. Efficiency, in, efficiency is the key in service, service delivery. To enhance customer experience, we are introducing an advanced appointment and schedule system. This not only make booking easier, but also allow convenient rescheduling. Our client-focused approach aims not only streamline operation, but also to provide a sense of warmth and comfort. The last aspect is social media marketing. Recognizing the power of a strong online presence, presence we crafted a thoughtful social media strategy by actively promoting the latest styles, engaging with our customers, and launching special offers. We aim to create a vibrant online community. We invite our clients, we invite our clients to share their positive experience, fostering word of mouth marketing and increasing brand exposure. Under operational planning, there is three aspects that we execute to achieve the strategic goals. The first one is appointment management. We are introducing an advanced appointment system that goes beyond scheduling. The system intelligently matched bar bar based on client preference and expertise, enhancing customer comfort and trust. This personalized approach not only streamlines operation but also creates an atmosphere of dependability and satisfaction, improving the overall client's experience. Second execution, second execution is client interaction. Our operational planning emphasizes engagement and effective communication. Our staff receive special life training to make clients feel at home. This ensures pleasant interaction contributing to a warm environment. This program is essential for improving client relationship, fostering loyalty, and ultimately achieving bit, better business success. The last execution is payment system. In our operational planning, we are implementing effective and secure point of sale system. This extends operational efficiency to financial transaction, guaranteeing customer a simple and secure payment process, offering multiple payment options including cash, credit card, and smartphone payment. Reflect our customer center approach, accommodating various preference and simplifying the payment processes. What is organizing? Organizing is the process that comes after planning. It is the process to setting up working relationship so that people in the organization can communicate and work together to accomplish their objective in the company. It is responsibility to of manager to determine the best method to distribute resources, in particularly human resources, include work specific duties. Organization use many methods to organize how the best department or cluster job into the department to coordinate effort effectively. Usually, organization attempt to strike a balance between the need for the workers fair, specialization and the need for worker to have a job. Organization and culture. Every organization has a culture. The leader become the main character to tracking the amazing culture to attract top talent in the company. A good company culture will drive business success. Organization culture can improve employee engagement, make work more fun, exchange productivity, exchange brand reputation. As a result, company become more efficient and generate fresh concept and innovation that will help to process in the market that becoming more and more competitive. Level of organization culture. Level 1, the artifact. Artifact is the visible element structure and business process that you can see when you enter the organization. For example, dress code, work hour, and dialogue goals. Level 2, exposed value. The value and rules or role more core model that you regularly observe by an organization. For example, just strategies, vision, and mission. Level 3, assumption and belief. Belief perspective, thought or feelings that unwritten rules in the company. It's helpful to know which activity will have the biggest positive influence on organization. Type of organizational culture. There are four types of organi organizational culture. First is clan culture, second, hierarchy culture, third, hierarchy culture, and the last one is market culture. Clan culture. Clan culture is a type of organizational culture in which all the employees have family like work relationship and framework for cooperation where decision making is made. In this culture, it's focused on mentorship and teamwork. Communication is the key to the clan culture because all the suggestions and feedback from employees will be active. All workers can share their ideas and learn new things from the other workers. The advantage of clan culture is first can reduce worker stress because in this culture have a flexible approach to the work. The environment is very supportive and make employee feel relaxed. Second, can build a good relationship between workers. 
disadvantage of clan culture is very difficult to maintain in the large company with different group of people. Also, it is difficult to maintain company growth. Second one is adequate culture. This culture main point is innovation and risk taking. They believe that taking large risks will make employee focus on adapting and innovating to achieve goals. It also encourages employees to think creative, think outside the box, and share the ideas to the other employees. The advantage of adequate culture is first, contribute the higher profit margin. Second one, employee will stay motivated. This advantage is taking a high risk sometimes can impact a company if the ideas doesn't work out. So then it will waste time and money for the company. Hierarchy culture. Focus on the traditional structure with the chain of command and detailed career path in organization. They usually have strict dress code as a set structure for all workers. Company with hierarchical culture will ensure every department and team has clear process and managerial structure. Advantage of hierarchy culture. First, have a clear direction and less employee will be confused. Second, will increase workload as each person has clear understanding. Disadvantage of hierarchy culture is first, have limitation on creativity and flexibility because it, uh, it can be reducing the speed of the company to adapt the changing market place. Market culture is to focus on financial success for a company continue to grow. Profit is the priority to the company to the analysis for improve uh, their financial system. Each employee works with a specific target to reaching the goals for the company. Advantage for the market culture first, focus on profit and success. Focus on reaching their target due to the rewards they receive if they do. So that it will increase motivation for the all workers. Disadvantage for market culture first, risk on burnout risk of burnout in this aggressive and fast-paced environment. If the employees are risking their mental health to reach a target increase, it will increase the toxic environment in the company. In the process of perspective on employee motivations that our employee performs, our company employee perform is considered to be whether employee have made anxious contributions and achievement to the company. Employee performs in the qualities of the haircuts and the number of the customers served by employee themselves. Work performs during haircuts and also the nature of tolerance and understanding to the customer. Employees are motivated when they believe their efforts will lead to success performance and deserves rewards if an employee performs significantly. Our company uses direct bonus and incentive based on the individual performance. And the second is team building activity. Arrange a series of team building activities in our barbering companies. Those activities will give barbers the opportunities to practice for free based on their performance and the work abilities. Those activities will motivate employees while giving employees a relaxing experience. Team building activity can also improve the communications and chatting level of each employee, which can improve the bubble's understanding when talking with the customer. Build effective work team by strengthening communication and interpersonal interactions is also good for our company. And the third one is the skill development. Our company will provide opportunity for the skill and time summer and continuous learning to keep employees engaged and grow in their role. Developing own skills as a barber can provide a variety of benefits, including increased employment opportunities, high earnings potentials, silence satisfaction, and the ability to keep up the industry trends and others. Once the ways the company motivates its employees is by giving them the opportunity to study hairdressing abroad for free. Especially in the South Korea, the hairdressing industry in the South Korea is relatively developed and there will be more opportunity to learn the hairdressing skill. As long as employees reach a certain number of the performance or complete uh, 1,000 customer haircuts every year, they will have the opportunity to receive 20% until 100% funding from the company to studies to the other country. The second part is behavior approach. The first behavior approach is active listening to customer. Barber should practice active listening to understanding customer preference. This includes paying attention to the disputes of the customers. That customers' perceptions or the preferential treatments can influence the effectiveness of active listening. Listening increases the customer feeling of meaning, cares, and value. So, listen to the customers. Haircut requests can give them confidence that staff will treat them better. In particular, if we show a high level of understanding through active listening, when we get the haircuts, the customer will feel like they are being treated special, increasing customers' satisfaction. Barber interacts with customers in a friendly and welcoming manner before cutting their hair is also important. And the second behavior approach is the professionalism in the problem solving. It is important for a barber shop to have a high level of the professionals amongst barbers. Those include being on time for work or door-to-door -door service, maintaining and the cleanliness at work, having a neat image and understanding the needs of customers and solve their hair troubles. For example, freezing hair and others, barbers may encounter situations where customers are unsure about the style they want. In such case, the ability to offer suggestions and guide customers in making decisions is important. Clear and effective communication is crucial.
Viruses should be able to discuss hashtag options, provide recommendations, and communicate the progress during the haircut to customers. And the third behavior approach is time management. Our company will have the time management training, which can improve the time management skill and avoid talking too long or haircuts that cause customers impatience or delay customer other schedules. Good timing can also save customer time. Customers do not have to spend time waiting for service for the barbers. Moreover, the haircut service complete fits in the specific time can also make customers have more trust in the professionals of our barber shops. And the last part of the leadings is the transitional leaderships. Our company, Ace Mobiles, will use the transitional leadership to manage our company. Our company will give subordinates what they want, such as perform awards, year-end bonus, year-end travel bonus, and also others, so that the company can get what leaders want from the subordinates. Such a company performs well customer service, positive attitudes, and others. Our barber shop company implements transactions, no leadership to ensure smooth operations. Our company will clearly position jobs positions for barbers and employees to ensure that employees can meet the company's expectations and the performance standards. The company will use this as the standard of the year and bonus. In addition, our company will regularly monitor the service audit and the performance of the barbers and provide the feedback. Next part of POMC is C, which is control. Control is the action of ensuring that organizational activities are carried out according to the plans. Control involves various tools to monitor activities by recording of the result and then comparing actual achievement with plan achievement. The difference between actual and plan achievement will create a deviation. This deviation indicates that a deviation has occurred. Each deviation should be identified immediately so that appropriate corrective action can be taken. There are two types of control. One of them is internal control. Internal control is a form of self-control. In self-control, employees will set objectives and standards they aim to achieve. Employees are accountable for the final result. In terms of leadership, managers have confidence in employees' activity to complete their tasks. Managers provide necessary resources and employees are given the freedom to make decisions, meaning that they must be accountable for any work outcome. Our company is Mobile Global Shop ensures that all the goals, vision, and mission are achieved. In addition, our company makes assignment of responsibility to every employee so that they understand and agree with their responsibilities and areas of authority. Our company is also concerned about comprehensive document records because it is necessary to depict a current activity transaction. With minutes, agreements, and contracts also are crucial as evidence. Other than that, our company physically controls asset and record to maintain information accuracy and prevent asset misuse. Next is external control. External control involves supervision of employees performing certain activities. A leader will oversee and supervise employees to ensure all activities proceed as planned. In case of any deviations, supervisor will identify corrective action needed. Managers will utilize technology tools to streamline this supervision. Our company as Mobile Global Shop uses external auditors for ensuring the accuracy and reliability of the reported financial statement. It is because they are unbiased and have the freedom to express opinion on our company's performance if deemed necessary. Our companies also follow and comply with the established laws and regulations. In conclusion, as Mobile Global Shop provides door-to-door haircutting service. Our company is created to help people who may find it inconvenient to visit a traditional workshop. Our company aims to provide services that are more flexible, efficient, and comfortable. We use VOLC method in developing our company, planning allow us to ensure our company's life up with the demands of the customer, current trend in the industry, and stylish creative vision. Through organizing, we get to develop an awareness of and putting into practice different organizational cultures, which creates a healthy work atmosphere that boosts creativity and client satisfaction. Next, leadership principles can motivate employees and influence their behavior to accomplish organizational goals. Lastly, the controlling function brings any deviation from the goals of the organization, helps measure the progress made towards those goals. To make sure we get to provide high quality service, we focus on employee performance. We provide regular training system for our staff, organize team building activities, and provide opportunities for skill enhancement and continuous learning. To increase customer satisfaction and brand awareness, we introduce an advanced appointment and scheduling system, accessible through both online platforms and a dedicated mobile apps. We also practice active listening to understand customer preference. To deal more efficiently and professionally with customers, we make sure our members have a high level of professionalism, include being on time, maintaining hygiene and cleanliness, having an image, and understanding the needs of customers. We are confident that our company, Ace Mobile Bomb Shop, can be run successfully. We believe that when the methods in the company are carried out effectively and efficiently, we can overcome the difficulties. We hope that our company can be the barber shop of choice for exceptional AK and styling, where our talented stylists and profession for chanting not just hey, but lives, making a lasting effect on the way of clients. To